Hi, this is Dr. Andrew Collier from MuscleTestingTV.com and this week is show number three. We're here in Albany, New York at the beautiful Desmond Conference Hotel and we're here with Dr. Michael Dobbins. He's going to be our guest this week and he's going to give you your muscle testing tip. So here's our interview with Michael Dobbins. Hi, this is Dr. Andrew Collier from MuscleTestingTV.com and we're here today in Albany, New York with Dr. Michael Dobbins. Dr. Dobbins has been in practice since 1988. Well, and before that, he was a nuclear physicist. I was on nuclear submarines for the U.S. Navy, protecting you. Thank you. And Dr. Dobbins uses muscle testing in his practice, and so I'd just like to ask Dr. Dobbins, how did you come to start using any type of muscle testing or kinesiology in your practice? It was about 25 years, actually before I went to chiropractic college. I purchased a book by some strange guy in Detroit. His, his last name was Good Organ, uh, Good Heart. Okay. And that was my introduction to muscle testing as a concept. I didn't do it. I hadn't gone to school, but I was open to the idea. Later in practice, I ended up attending a seminar by someone who was on the road a lot and teaching how to use a form of muscle testing to determine nutritional protocols. Uh, that fascinated me as a concept because if it could be done quickly, reliably, and easily, I was all for it. I went, I liked what I saw, I realized there's something of merit here. And there was other stuff that I thought might be questionable, but I applied it in practice and have been doing it ever since. And one of the things that Dr. Dobbins mentioned today uh, during the class was how often if a, if a practitioner or somebody doing testing isn't clear about the question that they're asking, mm -hmm. they can get erroneous results. In my experience, the easiest thing uh, with muscle testing is getting a response. The hard part is formulating the question. Um, you know, we have to refine and define what we're asking, especially when we're working at subtle levels. An example we gave in the seminar here today. If I mentioned to anybody the need for detox, everybody would assume I'm talking about liver. Mm -hmm. And in fact, if I'm thinking that in test for liver, I can guarantee it will blow out or weaken whatever your system right. is. Right. But that doesn't mean it's primary. It is reactive, but it's not necessarily primary. I find if I can, within the system, take that out or whatever you do mm -hmm. and ask for the next level, you'll often find it's thyroid or whatever. It doesn't matter what it is. Right. The hard part is not already knowing in advance what it is. Because if I do, I have so overwhelmed the subtle energies that I might as well not test. Right, exactly. So how would you, if you were going to give someone a tip as to how to either formulate the right question or remain detached while they're testing, how, how would you, what kind of advice would you give someone? The trick is to be completely brain dead and 100% alert at the same time. Meaning, when you think about the case, when whatever your criterion is, when you have analyzed down to what you think might be happening, and then you test, you have to also detach yourself and forget that you know anything. Right. I am right. told that George Goodhart, this may not be true, but the story is good, so uh, I'm sticking to it, <laughs> okay. is that between patients he would do this as a symbol of forgetting everything that I know or think. It was just a symbol, forget it, be blank now, test. I have formulated my questions and a, and a doc might want to write them down mm -hmm. so that I don't even have to think about it. I'm going to read the question and test because if I'm engaged up here, I'm going to overwhelm the system. Right. And every practitioner finds it's gallbladder day or whatever, and they realize they're testing their own gallbladder. <laughs> right. Well, that's great. Uh, Dr. Dobbins, thank you so much for being here with us today. My pleasure. And uh, people can learn more about you at your website, which is? www.dobbins.org.org. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thanks. Well, that's your muscle testing tip for this week. It came from natural health expert Dr. Michael Dobbins, who practices in California. He's been a chiropractor for many years. He's a fabulous teacher. He's on the road actually about four, at least 40 weekends a year. He teaches, I believe he said 44 to 47 weekends a year. He's definitely an expert, and we appreciate his input for muscle testing tip. Interestingly enough, it's also one of the muscle testing tips that we teach in our home study course and live workshops. So anyway, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.